Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a taste comparison between Monster Energy Rehab Lemonade and Rockstar Recovery Lemonade. Now, I've had the Monster Rehab before, but I've never had the Rockstar before. I actually recently found these at Big Lots for quite cheap. Um, these I found in the deli. I was selling a bunch of them on eBay and someone wants a top empty can, so here we go. Alright, so first, let's do what most people want in a review. Let's drink it first. <laughs> Instead of a can review, let's move this thing back a little. Okay, first I'm going to open up the monster because, well, I'm a monster fan, so. It's so easy to open. Hmm. Maybe like the one there. Uh, if you find this can size in the store, tell me right away because these are actually very rare. Mm, these cans are. Yeah, they're really rare. Can't find them anywhere. Mm. It basically tastes like black tea with lemonade. That's exactly what it is, really. Black tea with lemonade. That's straight up there. Okay, so now let's open the Rockstar, which I've never had before. These are hard to open. It smells very similar. A little bit sweeter smell to it. Oh, it's it's clear. All right, that I was not expecting at all. It's completely clear. No dye at all. Huh. Okay, I was just really surprised that it's clear. Let's take a sip. To be honest, they're very similar in flavor, except there's no tea in here. It's just lemonade. Basically, lemonade flavor. There's nothing else here except lemonade. And surprisingly, there's no um, afterburn, what I call it, with Rockstar drinks. For some reason, in a lot of Rockstar drinks, there's an, a burn in your throat and an aftertaste, like Rockstar Relax, Rockstar Acai Berry. They have this burn afterburn. I don't know what exactly it's called, but it's actually a little bit annoying. That's why I prefer Monster. Okay, let's mix them up. <laughs> that was easy. Eh, it's a lighter, lighter color than Monster Rehab. Mm, very refreshing. Tastes mostly lemonade here with a hint of black tea in the background. Since they're very similar flavors, they just blend in with each other and you almost have the same flavor between the two. They're still both really good. Um, I'll still go with Monster Rehab, not because I like Monster better, but it's it's just better in general. Now, this is actually quite hydrating, like it says on the can. It's like a light lemonade, light crisp lemonade. Okay, so let's get into the nutrition facts, because I want to know how much sugar this has. Huh, three grams of sugar in the entire can. So does this. Hmm. Both have 10 calories. Very similar amounts of sodium. This has 5 grams more sodium. 115, 110. Potassium, a little different. Carbs are the same, 3 grams. And no protein in both. Kind of expected. Who would find protein in one of these? Now, what's interesting is this can on the right is from 2004. 14, I believe. No, copyright 2009, but I think this was made in 2014. This was made in 2012. Um, 84 milligrams per can of caffeine, and this has um, like a. Um, I'm trying to think. I think. I think the same thing, 84 milligrams. Right around the same thing, because it's 161 for a 15.5 ounce can. So it's maybe around 80, 84. They're very similar drinks with nutrition facts, taste, and everything. Except the biggest difference is that this is pure lemonade and this is lemonade with black tea. They're still very similar. Now, here's the catch. These cans are not that rare. I found these at Big Lots and I'm planning to get a whole bunch more of them because they're actually quite cheap. They're 75 cents a piece of Big Lots and I'm gonna sell them for not much, maybe $5 a piece on eBay. So if you want one, just message me. I can 
ship you one, sell you one, or you can buy one on eBay. I'll link it in the description. Now, for these, these were never sent to Big Lots. These were actually discontinued, but never sent to a discount store because they're the same flavor as its sister's 16 ounce can. So, if you find one of these in this store, you're really lucky because they're extremely rare. They're valued at about 25 a piece, if not more. They're very rare. And I was fortunate enough to one day walk into a mini mart and actually find a whole bunch of them, and I bought them out, of course. Can't tell you how much I got them for because that would just ruin how much I sell them for. I do plan on selling them $30 a piece, but my friend, who was with me at the time, who also sells monster drinks, is currently selling them for $22 a piece on eBay. So if you want a can, just go search it up on eBay. Monster Rehab 8 ounce, and it should be one of the first listings. You'll see his listing. For Rockstar Recovery, um, it's also on eBay. I'm selling it for $5 a piece, not much. So if you want a can, either message me or just buy one on eBay. I'll link it in the description. Anyway, there's your review between the two flavors. Oh, um, if you want to find these flavors, I'm not so sure about Rockstar Recovery. I've seen the bigger 16 ounce can in every other, not every other place, but in a few like drugstore chains, like uh, Walgreens, I know I found it there several times. Um, and come to think, it's one of the very few places I actually found it. Now, Monster Rehab is actually very common in the 15.5 ounce can. It's one of the most common flavors of Monster. You can find it in almost any gas station or deli, except it's going to be the 15 ounce version. Now, there's also a 23 ounce version, and there's also a 23 ounce version with a twist top. Now, if you find that, please tell me, because I've been looking all around for that, and I really want one for collection. As a matter of fact, if you tell me you got a 24 ounce, uh, 23 ounce rock, um, rehab can, twist top, if you message me, I'll trade you two of these. Or anything else. Just message me and I'll, we'll work out a deal. Because I really need that for collection. As of this review. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure to subscribe for future reviews. And thanks for watching.